Hello guys, welcome to C2C Mentors. I hope you all are doing great. Today we are aiming to complete the current affairs for January 2021. Disclaimer, this PPT is important, but whatever I'm gonna say, try to note that down. Yeah, properly sun lena because I'm gonna give you some extra chunk about every slide as we go further. So let's start with our very first news, which is 5G network. So the telecom operator Bharti Airtel has been tied up with the Qualcomm uh, company. So it is a US, US based chip maker firm and they have announced on Thursday about the collaboration for accelerating 5G in India. Airtel recently become India's first telecom to demonstrate 5G over a live commercial network in Hyderabad city underlining the company's technology capabilities and Airtel has claimed that it took only a few seconds to download a full length film during its demonstration of the 5G network. So this collaboration also aims to allow a faster rollout of broadband services in a cost effective and speedy manner. On this slide, you can actually check the speeds which they have provided and uh, the learnings you can take from this the company has been founded on 7th of July 1995. The CEO of this company is Gopal Vittal and the founder is Sunil Bharti Mittal. Okay, now let's move further. Okay, four year old telecom venture Reliance Geo has been ranked the fifth strongest brand globally behind the likes of Ferrari and Coca Cola. Guys, this is very important news and uh, in this picture, I have listed all the top 10 uh, brands. Uh, so whenever you will go back to the video, just try to pause the video and look at and just read the brands. You'll be sorted. So Reliance Geo has a score of 91.7 out of 100 according to the brand strength index and uh, WeChat has been topped in this category. So, okay, why, have, why I have picked this news because uh, it is not, in, not only important as per your exam only, but it is also important when you will go for your GDs and VATs. Um, this is a very good information which you can add over there because many times the panelists ask about the market related or finance related um, topics. So you can actually add what is a particular company's rank over there and it will be a bonus point to you. Okay guys, let's talk about the vaccines now. So the Drug Controller General of India has formally announced the final approval for COVID shield and co-vaccine against the coronavirus disease for emergency use. So they have recommended to use COVID shield for emergency use and co-vaccine for restrictive use. One very important thing is co-vaccine is the indigenous vaccine being developed by Bharat Biotech collaboration with ICMR. The extra chunk which I would like to give you is Serum Institute of India CEO is Adhar Punewala and the founder and the Indian India founder is Cyrus Punawala. It has been founded in 1996 Serum Institute and the headquarter is in Pune. Uh, let's talk more about into this segment. So our next very important point is India's first COVID-19 vaccine recipient is Manish Kumar. So he's a sanitation worker in Delhi. And uh, when he was given the injection at Ames in Delhi, uh, Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan was also present at that moment. And uh, India's vaccination program is, is based on a very important principle that those who are in need of the vaccine will get vaccinated first. Our doctors, nurses, medical and paramedical staff, sanitation workers in hospital, be it a private or public hospital, uh, they are entitled to get vaccinated. This will be done on priority basis. So India has started a vaccine maitri initiative, which means India will gift COVID-19 vaccines to neighboring countries. Recently, Sri Lanka and Bahrain has received the COVID-19 vaccine under this initiative. Sri Lanka has received 5 lakh uh, COVID-19 vaccine, vaccines from India 
and Bahrain has received 10,800 uh, vaccines under this initiative. So we need to know, um, so we need to actually focus uh, which uh, countries we have given the vaccines or which or from which country we have taken the loan uh, during this pandemic situation so that we can build up more vaccines or maybe develop our economy or develop our healthcare system. Uh, these are, uh, there are some of the slides which I have covered uh, further. So we'll see more uh, loan thing in future. Please. Okay, since we have covered everything in this segment, let's move further. Mm. Okay, let's talk about Bloomsburg Billionaires Index. It is a very important index which comes up with the uh, richest man ranking. So, India's richest man, we all know, Mukesh Ambani, the chairman in the MD of Reliance Industry Limited, has dropped down to 12th spot. The, uh, for the drop the reason behind the drop is there is a 16% drop from its all time high of rupees 2369.35. Uh, the most important point to be noted on this slide is Zon Shanshan. This person has replaced Mukesh Ambani. He is a lone wolf and he has uh, become the Asia's richest person. He is one of the fastest in the history to achieve the feat. Let me take you directly to the list. Uh, which Bloomsburg Billionaire Index has released in January. This is the list. Okay, this is the first uh, list. Um, on the first and the second uh, spot, these two people have been shuffled like three times. Uh, now Elon Musk is on the first spot. Uh, so here is the person we were talking about, Zon Shangshan. Uh, guys, do, do note his uh, net worth because it's important when when this news has uh, come up in January about this particular person, this personality becomes so important and it was everywhere where in the news. So there are higher chances that they can ask about this particular person in the examination. So do remember his name and his net worth. I think that is enough. I hope you all are writing the important and the extra information which I'm giving you. Uh, do one thing you can write the extra information side by side and uh, later on when you revisit the video again just go through the ppt and uh, pick out the relevant points so that uh, at the end of the day you can have your concise notes uh, let's talk about economic uh, survey now so uh, one important point is the theme of economic survey it's not mentioned here so listen to me properly so there were two themes, one was saving lives and livelihood and the other was V-shaped recovery. Uh, those of you who have given this exam might have come across uh, this question in which they were asking about the theme, the economic survey theme. So the answer was saving lives and livelihood. So in other exams, they can give you um, any option from these two themes. So do remember these two statements. Um, it will fetch you marks. So, economic survey was released on 29th of January. The major focus of this year's economic survey is the losses and impact of COVID-19 pandemic. And, uh, okay, it was prepared under the guidance of the Chief Economic Advisor Krishna Murthy Subramanya. Uh, the survey will provide an assessment of how the Indian economy has been impacted by the deadly COVID-19 virus and how it is improving, it will also predict India's GDP growth. I think this is enough as per economic survey. Okay, let's talk about Bharti Exa General Insurance launches Krishi Sakha app for farmers. So it is a one-stop shop for Indian farmers that offers them relevant information to cater to their daily farming needs. It provides guidance, about weather forecasting, market and crop prices. It uh, tells them to adopt best farming practices and enhance their productivity. It also tells them about uh, government schemes related to insurance and agriculture. So they're aiming to help Indian farmers make informed decisions through customized information related to their farming requirements. Okay, 
after the farm bills have been introduced uh, modi government is focusing more on the agriculture uh, sector because uh, 55% of our population is engaged in agriculture sector and only 15% uh, the sector contribute towards gdp so they are coming up with more uh, schemes yojanas apps so that they can help more and more farmers in a better way and uh, more and more gdp and their livelihood can improve so like one of the uh, you know initiative bharti xr general insurance has also took by launching this app uh, so the takeaways you can uh, have from this slide is uh, bharti xr general insurance got established in 2008 Uh, the headquarters is located at mumbai the md and the ceo is sanjeev shrinivasan and the tagline is suraksha ka naya nazariya okay let's talk about center approved startup india seed funding scheme uh, let's see what is it so by doing this the government would help in need of initial capital to start and grow their business they are basically helping they are giving the financial assistance to startups for the product trial market entry proof of concept prototype development and commercialization the government has been implementing the fund of fund schemes to help startup raise equity capital uh, going forward the government will also help startup in raising debt capital so there is a budget of uh, 945 crores which government has given and uh, you can check on the google about the eligibility that who will get how much and who all are uh, you know who all come in this category but this is one of the uh, good points which government has introduced it got introduced on 16th of january do remember the figure and uh, and uh, and the key points for which they have provided seed funding schemes to the startups Kaza Kalas to become Estonia's first female prime minister. Okay, why I have selected this particular news because um, females are getting very uh, females are taking participation in many of the political activities these days. Recently, we have seen Kamala Harris, Jacinda Ardern, now Kaza Kalas. They are you know acquiring uh, the prominent and the topmost positions of the country they are leading the country basically so many time in examination what the examiner do they give, uh, they can give us uh, you know they can give us uh, three similar category and they ask us to find the odd one out and it can be in any category they can ask about uh, the politician category or maybe the economist category so there are many segments in which they can ask so just remember the name of these female candidates who are ruling the world now so estonia's uh, capital is tallinn and the currency is euro it uh, it comes into the northern europe region okay so spacex breaks isro's record by launching 143 satellites So SpaceX successfully launched its ambitious rideshare mission called Transporter 1, carrying 143 small satellites, and created a new record of launching many satellites from a single rocket. So ISRO has launched uh, 104 satellites um, on board PSLV in a single mission. So the takeaways you can have from this slide is. um space spacex founder and ceo is elon musk the president and the coo is mr shortwell it uh, spacex founded in 2002 and the headquarter is located at california usa okay so india's longest road arc bridge inaugurated in meghalaya um, it got inaugurated on 22nd of january 2021 by the chief minister of meghalaya who is conrad k sankma and uh, the the cost uh, the investment uh, they have done of rupees 49.395 crores the the aim is to boost the tourism sector in the state 
Okay, SBI, ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank remain as DSIBs, which means domestically supported important banks. So these institutions have been, um, you know, uh, RBI has stated that these institutions are too big to fail. Like uh, SIBs are seen as seen as too big to fail, creating the expectation of government support for them in times of financial distress. And uh, these banks also enjoy certain advantages in funding market. Guys, note one thing that uh, do know about the name of the chairperson of the respective banks and when these banks have founded the year for the second. Joe Biden takes oath as 46th uh, US president with Kamala Harris at, seven, at 78. Biden is the oldest president in US history. So the important point on this slide is Biden will immediately rejoin the Paris Climate Accord and stop the US exit from the World Health Organization and set new paths on immigration, the environment, COVID-19 and the economy. So guys, uh, we are taking uh, the news which covered in January. So in February, there might be, uh, you know, uh, new things might have come up so we are talking about that particular month so in that particular month these were the three important um, segment which uh, biden wanted to work and he might have started working or might have accomplished some till now separate banks bhavna kant to become first women fighter pilot at republic day parade and one more important point on this slide is she was inducted into Indian Air Force in 2016 along with Mohana Singh and Abhni Chaturvedi. Guys, these are uh, very important names. So do remember. Okay, by now I guess everyone know that Tesla sets up Indian subsidiary in Bangalore. So the office is situated on the Laval Road in Bangalore. is uh, registered with the total paid up capital of rupees 1 lakh and authorized share capital of rupees 15 lakh so there are some of the important names for example uh, chief accounting officer Vaiva Taneja and the Bangaluru based entrepreneur Venkat Tranga M. Sriram are on the Indian board of, are on the board of the India unit you need to remember these two names because in the exam they won't ask about uh, who is the CEO of Tesla. Of course, everyone know by now. So what you need to know about who are handling the Indian unit? Who are the prime members? So do remember these two names. Uh, they can ask in the examination. Remember these three names. Uh, guys, remember when initially I was talking about COVID-19 vaccine, like which all country India has provided the doses and I also talked about from which of the countries India has taken the loan for the relief of our economy. So Japan is one of the country. So Japan has committed rupees 2,113 crore support for COVID relief efforts. So they have contributed 30 billion Japanese yen, which is approximately equal to rupees 2,113 crore rupees for a program to support uh, India's efforts at providing social assistance to the poor and the vulnerable household severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. So it is one of the important uh, aspect which you should cover because uh, many questions can be formed from this segment. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, see, India to chair three key subsidiary bodies of UN Security Council. So the permanent representative of India to the UN is T.S. Trimurti. Guys, uh, remember this name. This name is very, very important who has announced that India has been asked to chair three important committees of the UN Security Council during its tenure as a non-permanent member of the powerful 15-nation UN body. So the three significant committees includes the Taliban Section Committee, the Counter-Terrorism Committee and the Libyan Section Committee. Uh, guys, uh, please, uh, you should know who is the chairman, head, president of these committees so and the un so do search for it and uh, keep that in your mind okay 
Shivalik Merchantile Cooperative Bank becomes India's first urban cooperative bank to transition to small finance bank. Um, Shivalik Merchantile Cooperative Bank operates through 31 branches and over 250 banking agents in Uttar Pradesh, MP, Delhi and Uttarakhand with uh, 4 lakh customers and uh, the RBI had given an 18 month timeline to commence its business. The SMCB received the commercial banking license from RBI uh, which I told you already on 6th of January this year to transition to an Finance, uh, small finance bank under the voluntary transition scheme, the Shivalik Small Finance Bank will start its banking operation from April 2021. And one more important thing is uh, the MD and the CEO of this. Okay, next is Bajaj Auto becomes world's most valuable two-wheeler company. It is an Indian multinational two-wheeler and three-wheeler manufacturing company. Uh, Bajaj Auto has become the most valuable after it crossed a market uh, capitalization of more than rupees 1 lakh crores on 1st of January this year. And it has been said that it is the uh, first ever two wheeler company in the world to have uh, reached this market capital milestone. The CEO of this company is Rajiv Bajaj. Uh, the similar the similar news is also for a company, uh, Tata Consultancy Services. Uh, it has been uh, ranked third in the most valued ITC in the category of most valued IT service brand globally after Essential and IBM. And the CEO of Tata Consultancy Services is Rajesh Gopinath. And the headquarter of Tata Consultancy Services is in Mumbai. Bank is Suveer Kumar Gupta. Sorry guys, I missed on one point that uh, the MD and the CEO of Shivalik Merchantile Cooperative Bank is Subir Kumar Gupta. Okay, now let's move to our last slide for the day, which is RBI introduces the RBI Digital Payment Index. So uh, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to do here, they're trying to capture the extent of digitalization of uh, digital or electronic payments across the country. So the, this RBI Digital Payments Index has five broad parameters that will be used for the measurement of deepening and penetration of digital payments. You can read about the figures which have been mentioned here and uh, it's gonna publish on a semi-annual basis from uh, March 2021 onwards with a lag of four months. Okay, guys, I think we are done uh, with the lecture. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your patience, and see you in the next video. Thank you so much.